morning. March 3rd, 2021, man. <laughs> it's March 3rd already. How y'all been? Been a little while for me. I've been, uh, I've been a little bad boy in the corner with the dunce cap on, according to, well, this platform. There's only one other platform that I have actually been successful in opening an account, and that's over at Brand YouTube. And I don't post anything there because it seems to be a pain in the can. Um, unlike here, which is still somewhat easy to do, but leads me to uh, suspensions. <laughs> Whatever, man. So what are we going to talk about? Well, I don't know. I never know. There's only like, what, five of you guys that actually watch, so... I guess it doesn't matter anymore. I ended up pulling the Fitz video because... That's the one that I keep getting. Strikes and suspensions as a result of, but... <laughs> Now, people have shared that over the these last few months. And, uh, you know, just on this channel alone, the, the thing had, <laughs> I believe, over a hundred and some thousand views and upwards of 600 and some odd comments. So, if you're new to the channel, odds are that it's through that video that got you here. So, Welcome. I'm sure you won't be here long because I'm not very entertaining. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. Holy hair, right? Look at this mess. This is... <clears throat> Last time my hair was even remotely close to being this long was in 1990. Yeah. And this is like my fifth or sixth beard. It just goes crazy and I just say, screw it, because I don't go anywhere. Anyways... I could, if I wanted, and uh, you know I don't I don't do this thing. I never have. Well, I have two times. Last year I needed to get the camper title registered, so I had to comply in order to do that. And then the second time was because I thought my freezer had taken a dump when it didn't so now I have two freezers rocking down in the basement <laughs> but that was just to get in the door and that's interesting because you know my friends they all they're all compliant they're not about it but they're compliant so that they might be able to do what they want to do and so on and so forth but for the menial and simple things you know, I mean, they're like, dude, you only got to wear it to get through the door. And then after that, you know, it's like nobody's wearing that. And I'm like, yeah, but don't you see? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, no. The thing is, is that, you know, so you're playing the game. But it's that one smidgen of compliance. And I'm not judging anyone because I have been judgmental of people because of it. But I've, I've tried my best to repent of it. Because I have been exposed to it as well. But the thing is, is that <clears throat> the compliance in any way, shape, and form... is what's furthered the agenda and has allowed it to continue. Now, I do understand that there's, at least as of yesterday, or maybe I'm a little behind the eight ball here, but as the information has come to me as of yesterday, the states which uh, I believe Texas and Mississippi have now 
uh, fully opened. None of this. I, I can't say that I believe it. There's theories that run around in my head as a result because it's like, you know, so many people have been compliant to the to the bite. And many have not. And the majority has done this. And not to brag, but again, a minority such as myself have not. Because I won't even give, you know, apart from the two times that I, the two times that I did, <laughs> and I was trying to convince myself that I'd be good, you know, it just, just this once, right? To me, I felt like I was committing adultery. So, or cheating, whatever. So, you know, the conviction in my very soul, it just won't allow me to do it, you know? That's me, that's, that's, that's me, okay? Anyways, where the hell was I? Oh, yeah, Texas and Mississippi. Well, I want to believe it, and maybe it is so. But like I was saying, there's, so there's a majority of people, or let's just say there's enough people. This is me theorizing, okay? This is just a theory. This is not factual. It's just me theorizing of a conspiracy is that now that enough people have taken the bite of the apple, I don't know, just threw that in there, that they are now harbingers because in the beginning they knew, they knew that we, the minority, would not comply, but they knew that a majority would comply, and so therefore, they got bit and, you know, willfully, now they're gonna open everything up. None of this, all that, whatever. And those of them that got bit are gonna be just peachy, and those of us that didn't get bit, that are not gonna be doing this, are suddenly gonna start dropping like flies. That's a theory that I have in my head. This kind of off the cuff it hasn't really been thought through because it's just an initial reaction to the recent intake of, from what I've heard. So, be that as it may, I'm still not going to do any of that. You know, if the Lord sees fit to take me, then his will be done, right? I'm not going to struggle. To exist in a place that on a daily basis becomes more and more evident of it being 110% owned by Bill Zabob. Because he is the ruler of this place. Once we're out of here, whenever that might be, It's going to go full-blown retard. <sighs> the 
there are, well, I know, I mean, a lot of my friends have taken the bite. They all got bit. Not all of them, but a lot of them have. I am disappointed that they did because, you know, I've shared everything that I can share with them, whether they chose to investigate for themselves or not is up to them, right? I'm not mad at them. The people I am mad at are those professing Christ who've taken it. Those are the people I'm mad at because these are also the people that said that they would never do such a thing. Two of whom are within my wife's family who had promised they would not take it and that did and kept it secret from her. And I knew that they would, and I told her that they would, and they have, and she's still kind of dumbfounded by it. I'm just not surprised anymore. <laughs> I just hope for myself that I don't succumb to it. Because none of us are above it, really. Think about it, man. You know, if you're going to think that you're all that, make sure that you're all that. Nobody I know personally has uh, fallen ill as a result. But it could just be a matter of time. You know, there's just so much speculation, but at the end of the day, there's no reason to do that, which is based upon a lie. I mean, haven't we all been witness to enough lies just in a matter of a year? Just in a matter of a year. You know, when speaking for myself, I've been witness to lies <laughs> substantially longer than that, but not on such a grand scale as this. So to be completely ignorant and blind to the light speed expedience of a con constant bombardment, a volley of nonstop deceit. To be ignorant to that is just beyond belief. And it hurts my soul. It angers me. I mean, I'm pissed. Okay, I'm just pissed. For both believers and non-believers. I'm not pissed at them. I'm pissed at what's been done to them. But at the same time, It's not their fault. Those which have been deceived, you know, it's not their fault. The ones I'm pissed at for believing it 
I just need to accept it's not their fault. It's by God's will. And so that's probably something you might be struggling with too, man. Would you quit pacing around, dude? Go find somewhere seriously. Yeah, just go. Stupid dog. <laughs> yeah, you're probably going to thumb this video down. I don't give a shit. I'm not here to entertain you. And if you're sub to this channel, you should know that by now. Oh my goodness and gracious, he's a Christian and he's smoking and he cusses. Whatever, man, get over yourself. <laughs> Goody two-shoes Christian is the last kind of, kind of person that I want to be around because, man, they, they kind of spook me. Anyways, the hell else was I going to talk about real quick? Shit, I better pause this one sec. Hang on, I got to get my thoughts together here. Oh yeah, the, so the, <laughs> the metals market, yeah, that's something I don't pay too much attention to anymore because I quit buying over a year now. From time to time, however, I do go look at the prices and see what's going on with it. Look at the chart real quick. And so Friday, yeah, that was a interesting shenanigan, wasn't it? <laughs> I mean, it was just too obvious to me what they're doing. Print the currency into an oblivion. And then make Bitcoin and all that so attractive to everyone. Millions and millions of Americans, just Americans alone. I'm not even going to go the whole world route. <laughs> just, Amer just in America itself. Millions and millions out of work, losing their houses, their cars, their homes. Or I already said that. Some losing their families. devalue the currency, take away employment, take away any kind of an income. And then on a Friday, push the precious metals off a cliff. Wow. And now this week, the metals are still down for the most part, but Let's think back to the last administration, shall we? Or the one prior to DT. When this occurred then as well, remember? All the little ups, downs, ups, downs, ups, downs. Then there was an up, and then there was a down, and then what? And then, and then it fell right off the cliff. And then it was averaged, remember, through 2015, end of 2015, 2016, 17, 18, 19, beginning of 20. It went way down. Premiums went through the roof. And here we are. Premiums have been through the roof for over a course of a year now. I'm not telling you to buy, I'm not telling you to sell, I'm not telling you to do nothing because I don't care. It's all of the same system, man. <clears throat> Everything is pushing you into an asset that has been a lie from the beginning because it's owned by the same entity. Its creator was the same thing. Bitcoin, any cryptocurrency. It's all the B system, man. 
if you're taking part in it in any way, shape, or form, you are helping to build the beast system. I'm not judging you because I use the shit out of my credit card and my debit card and whatnot. But this is an, a new system. This is a full electronic system. This is the beast system that, that we are heading to next. And those of us who had submitted to the initiation, the indoctrination, the inoculation, allegedly, in these recent times, which weren't all that bad, when they get to the times foretold, it's going to be a whole new batch, man. And Yep. Causing all rich, poor, free and bond. You know the rest. So now what about the rest of us? Well, this is where your preparations come into play and what you're unable to procure now while your whatever amount of currency you do have that you're able to spend you need to prepare with it whatever you are unable to do after then that's what you count on the Lord for to give you the To fill in the blanks, man. Either way you look at it, it sucks. And to think that your gold or silver or any of that, it's going to make a difference. It ain't going to make a damn bit of difference. Not when everything's electronic. How do you think you're going to pay your taxes, man? I mean, I own everything I got except my boat and my Subaru. Those are the only two things that I owe money on. Hell, at that time, they can have the frickin' car and the boat. I don't give a crap. You know, I still got my truck and my camper and whatnot, but that doesn't matter if you own it or not, man, because if you can't pay your taxes, they can ride you out like you're... They're not going to come to your door. They're going to pull the old medieval move man they'll just sit outside your gate ride you out because they can they got all the time in the world but what you can do in term is prepare best you can to ride it out for as long as you can for the time at that time that the Lord comes back And for those that have plenty, you know, the Lord's going to call on them to help their brothers and sisters in Christ. Yep. But at that time, everybody's going to have to do their part. It's a long ass video, isn't it? Yeah, I know. So hang on a sec. Because this only gives me like 30 minutes and it cuts me off. Like in the middle of a video and I'm just still going along my merry way. <laughs> it cuts me off and then it starts a new video. So there's like a part two. So hang on a sec. You know, I guess I should do this now. I'm like all the video, man, you know, I, I guess say real quick, I make a ton of videos. And I watch them. 
and I delete them. This one might even get deleted, who the hell knows, by myself before I even post it. But here's the thing. I have a greater amount of respect for those people who don't claim Christ. Even people, close, very close friends of mine. One of whom I've witnessed to on numerous occasions and is thankful, is grateful, is appreciative, but has come right out in honesty and told me it's just not for him right now. He just doesn't feel led to believe it. Isn't that an interesting statement? <clears throat> I honor that and respect it because I understand. It's not by his own choosing or by his own will, only if that drive, that leadership, that faith is given to him by God first. So therefore, if you feel as though you're being drawn in any way, shape, or form to belief on Christ and belief in God, then that is God working in you, calling you to repentance, man. And you need to understand that that is a honor and it's by his grace and it's by his choosing that he decided before he even built this world he knew you he foreknew you you were created with a purpose and an intention of God I want you to chew on that and think about it for a minute because it's not everybody that he's going to do that for. Please think about that, man. Repentance is just a 180, hey, 180 degree turn from where you are right now to where you will be then. From unbelief to belief. You're still going to be a sinner. The only difference is, is that the conviction comes from the Spirit after. Being a Christian isn't an easy thing, and it's not a, it doesn't make you better than anybody else. It's just the blood of Christ is what washes you clean but you still have sin and you still do it. So don't think that you're all that over anyone else because you ain't. Matter of fact, it holds you to a higher standard of accountability. You are no better than anyone else being a Christian. And you didn't make that choice either, man. All you did was submit. That's all you did because you felt drawn. The drawing comes from God. It's all of him from beginning to end. So on that note, if my phone cuts me off at the 30-minute mark, so be it. Just for your sake, just submit. If you don't feel led, then I understand. I still love you either way. I know it doesn't seem like it. Anyways, to my brother Steve, cousin George, Carolina, I love you guys. Wish we could meet someday in person for the first time ever. But Thanks to the powers. Whatever.
Y'all have a great day. I think I'll redo this. Until next time. See you.